Hello everybody and welcome back to a special episode of World of Warcraft Classic. Today we are going to be doing the Stockades dungeon here in Stormwind. And we actually have a quest for the Stockades. What comes around? Targor the Dread served under Gath Lazog as Supreme Executioner. His methods were ruthless, even by filthy orc standards. Men who fought bravely to defend the kingdom were tortured on his whim. Now he is being held in the Stormwind Stockade, sentenced to die. Yet something is amiss. One of the bureaucratic nobles put a hold on his execution. I am sure foul play is in the works. Put an end to Targor the Dread. Travel to the Stockade and behead him before trickery is upon us. Ah, uh, reward for this, a pretty substantial upgrade for our sword. So we're going to go ahead and get moving. We've got our group, uh, which as soon as I logged in, there were groups looking for tanks for the stockades, so hooray for tanking. And I've never done stockades before pre-Cataclysm, pre-Group Finder, because I never played Alliance. So it should be interesting even finding this place. Let's go back this way. There we go. Now we're on the right track. So who, who have we got? We have a level 23 Hunter, Lunostris. We have a level 23 Mage, Scorch. We have a level 27 Paladin, Tregs. And we have our healer, Pumpernickel, a level 22 Human uh, Priest. Really? Quell the Uprising. The uprising must be quelled. I need your assistance. If word gets out that the prison is overrun, I will lose my job. This is a case of foul play if I've ever seen one. But what's important now is forcing these prisoners into submission for the safety of Stormwind. The punishment for insurgency is death. Kill some of these deviants. That ought to get things under control. Go with honor. Uh, we'll take that. I'm assuming that's going to lead us right into here. And let's go, 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 go. So this is going to be a full playthrough, unless things get super tedious, I don't plan on doing any editing or cutting anything out. Uh, obviously, if we have the spirit run or something, I'll probably cut that out. But I mean that we'll be fighting everything that we find in here, uh, and I don't really know what to expect. But it should be a good time regardless. And we'll wait till we get all of our buffs going. There's our fortitude buff. All right. And we have to remember to really let our rage build up. We want to be able to get some Sunders on because Sunder is going to be our best chance of holding a threat. Uh, Sunder and Revenge. Let's take a peek into these rooms here. I see a couple guys. I want to kind of try to pull them out. It takes so much rage to get a Sunder off that it's like unbelievable. That's our biggest problem right now, is probably just rage generation. We just... Where's this guy going? Is he going to run out of the portal? <laughs> Hi, hello, how are you? 
We just need more rage, as our character would tell us, if we hadn't disabled the error of speech. I, let's make sure we're looting everything in here. across the hall here as well. I guess at the end we could try to save some of our rage, but we're going to lose it pretty quickly as soon as we're out of combat, so that's like really not worth it. Having the Paladin in melee is a good uh, distraction. Uh, bright gloves, we don't need those. Let's do the same, let's clear out this room first. Pull them out here into the hallway. Hope he's running to nope he's chasing somebody i was kind of hope he was running off to die but that didn't prove to be the case we have tregs up here just kind of standing there like maybe he's lost track of where the mobs are at i don't know maybe he had to go afk tacos there, there he is. And okay, I have to pay attention to a couple of things because I got some feedback on this in the Dead Mines run. I have to pay attention to our our mana of our people in our group, not just the healer, but uh, the mage as well. Now my question is, they don't seem to be drinking. How long am I supposed to wait for them to get their mana back? Uh, the mage can make drinks. I hope he's made drinks for. The priest. Oh, we are so close to pulling that group, but I really would rather get these guys out here first. Or this one guy, apparently there were not two in there. The other guy's probably further back.
There we go. Uh, now if I jump in there, I'm going to pull all three, uh, but I don't have Blood Rage up, so if I want any initial rage at all, let's just pull them like this. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'd have been ready for that. would have been nice. Usually people will use a mark when they want to CC something. Somebody said BRB. This is the time that I hope it was uh, not the healer. Are there any mobs hiding here? No, there are not. I see Targor the Dread back here. But we're going to explore these side passageways first. Starting with this one, I guess. I don't know who's just inside these doorways, so I don't want to rush in. I'm probably being too cautious, but... Two mobs at a time seems to be more than enough right now. I don't know, are they DPSing something else? What are they doing back here? I, I just need to find out. Because they need to be over here <laughs> DPSing what I've pulled. But I have this feeling that they're somewhere else. Yeah, they're just back there doing something. I don't really understand what happened there. Maybe something pulled onto them and I missed it? They didn't say anything. Yeah, you need to follow the tank. And I, I don't need to be too polite with that. It's just a pretty obvious thing. And if they, if they don't know it, if they don't know it, they need to learn it now. Um, they just need to learn it now. You have to follow your tank. It's not a game where you can go off and, and pull things on your own. Even if you are, say, a paladin or a hunter with a pet. You can't go off and pull stuff on your own. You just got to do what your tank does. You have to be patient. Watch for where your tank is going. If you pull something to yourself on accident, you run to your tank and, and then the tank taunts it off of you. And that's it. That's what they got to do. And they'll learn. It just is a learning curve that's different from a lot of games. It's very different from the way five men's work in retail where you just face roll it. So if they're coming from retail experience and the classic experience, this is going to be very different. And We'll, uh, we'll have some patience, but we're also going to tell them the right thing to do. Alright, so a little bit of a reset here. I feel like that's fine. It's a good point in the dungeon for that to happen. It's avoidable. So I just gave them the basic advice. Stay with me, and if something aggro's you, run to me and I'll grab it off of you. And that's, that's, that's it. It's simple. It really is. But we got... But in all that, we got Tarog down. <laughs> so they must have just went for Tarog instead of following me, I guess. I don't know. Like, maybe they thought I was going to skip it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened or why. 
but we'll wait till everybody gets full health and then we will pull these guys out of this room. I just want to clear everything. Maybe they're trying not to clear everything. I fully intend to do a full clear. I would like to see the priest eating and drinking food and water. That's... Okay. So we're going to have to find a DPS replacement. That's fine, but I'm not going to subject you guys to the wait time. Alright, we picked up a rogue for our replacement. Our mage has an itchy trigger finger. He decided to pull this guy before we were all together. Always an inspiring move when your DPS pulls for you. Well, at least finish him off for us. See, now that's something that a mage could do. But it's okay. I'll save you from this guy. What I don't appreciate is like, while this is going on, everyone else is just kind of standing here. I don't know what that's about, but whatevers. Alright, well, that room is empty. Now we can continue... ...onward. Everyone here, everyone ready, I hope so. Uh, we had a quest there. I don't have time to read that while I'm fighting, I don't think, but, um... We can check it out. Hand of Dexton Ward. So we'll read that one when we're out of here. But I'm assuming that's going to be a boss that we find. Again, I'm gonna pull these guys out. Even multiple sunders is not keeping this guy off of that rogue. He's going that way. I really want to make sure that none of these guys is on our healer, but that's going to be kind of hard. Pulled a little bit too many because of the runners that we had, but we might be okay if we can uh, get some of these guys down. Oh, good. This is going to quickly become untenable. I think I need to let the Paladin have that one. It's going to suck to be him for a minute, but... There, we'll take him back. 
They really need to, the, the mage should maybe be frost novaing when they run. I could hamstring, I probably should have brought hamstring to this. That's gonna suck. Give a little bit of advice about frost novaing the runners. Uh, it would have been the difference there between me not dying and me dying. Just one of them not making it back into this room to pull ads, you know. If we'd have had last stand at this point, that probably could have helped us too, but... I wonder if that res is gonna come. That's actually an upgrade, sadly. I'm not sure that I'm not sure that the priest has any water or anything to drink to restore their mana. I haven't seen her drink yet. Maybe he misunderstood. I needed it more when they were low on health. Not not right when they walk out of the room. Frostbolt a mob? No, I don't need a mob frostbolt, did I? Yeah, just trying to keep them from chaining like they did on that last pull. Like that, that was perfect, perfect, perfect. That was perfect. He ran away and and he frost nova him. Very good team, very good. Not what I wanted, not what I had in mind. But it worked out okay. I wouldn't blizzard on two mobs, I would probably blizzard on four or five mobs. But whatever works. And grats on the level. Okay. What else is going on in here? I see this guy. And I see a bunch of guys to either side. We're gonna have to be pretty careful about how we pull those. Uh, who's gonna come here? At least these two are gonna come out. Uh. 
That guy didn't want to let go of aggro on the rogue at all. A lot of people getting their levels in here. I like it. Well, that was pointless. Hey, the good thing is somehow we didn't pull that other inmate. Oh, shit. Uh, the bad news is we got feared. The good news is I don't think we pulled any extras. I'm, like, stuck in a wall. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't feel like this is going to go well. I think Scorch is over here getting killed by these guys. Yeah, this is too many. Too many. Ah, fear. Alright, so that's all I can think of is that we try to stay a little bit deeper in that room and hope that nobody runs out the door, around the corner, perfectly through another door into another room to aggro the four guys in there. Or we pull the other guys first. Apparently he's dead. <laughs> So we don't have to worry about it. Well, we got a couple people that need to repair, so it would be a good time to check out this other quest that got shared to us. Uh, Councilman Mils Milstipe of Darkshire wants you to bring him the hand of Dexter and Ward. Which is good, because I plan on going to Darkshire next in my questing as if the neglect for the residents of Duskwood has not been bad enough, now the House of Nobles spits in the eye of the Darkshire Council with their decision to imprison Dexter and Ward in Stormwind rather than behead the villain as per Lord Ebonlock's sentence. Ward was caught selling bodies from the cemetery to Morbent Fell, a crime punishable by death, yet Stormwind claims Ward as their prisoner. Assist assassinate Ward in the Stormwind Stockade. Bring me his hand, and I shall reward you. I won't point out you can get a guy's hand without assassinating him, but it's good that we have all these quests in here. And now we'll wait for people to come back. It looks like we're, get, we're getting respawns, so uh, we are going to get respawns. Alright, so we've filled our group back up and we've gotten basically back to where we were. Although, I don't know where the guy is whose hand we need to loot. I thought we had managed to get him down. Well, I'm glad he didn't get in there and pull those guys. Uh, we do probably need to pull this guy back a little more. There we go. Sometimes I wish we could, like, body block them, you know? Collision? How badass would some collision be? Alright, uh, jeez. I'm just praying I can get this guy by himself. Alright, we got lucky with that one.
Now this, uh, I, I mean, I guess we're just going in for this. I will say, holding aggro on multiple targets is even harder than I remember it being. I don't know who Cam Deep Fury is, but we found him. And I'm not sure if he's a boss or what, but he's a Dark Iron Dwarf. And we didn't need anything from him, I guess. But uh, that's interesting. So Cam Deep Fury, we'll have to remember that um, if we come across that name in the future. I like how the other convict over there just hasn't noticed us yet as we murder his buddy. And it looks like there's another chest in here that our rogue might be able to unlock large solid chest it's not locked let's just see what's in it uh defender's boots of the monkey we don't need those but i don't know who would with agility on them Well, if we came across the Cam Deep Fear, we might come across as anybody else, so... Maybe as we work our way this way, we are not quite done yet. We only need two more convicts. And then this quest is going to be complete. Yeah, look at this back here. We've got we've got Hamhawk. Okay, so we're not done in here, obviously. And you guys probably knew that. I'd love him not to run into that room. Would make our lives much easier if he didn't. Alright, let's see what Hamhawk has to offer. Hamhawk it might come with a couple of insurgents if we're not able to... Shite. Well, here we go. I'd really prefer Hamhawk be on us, but with the overall amount of damage we're taking, maybe not. Let's see if we can interrupt his next cast. Oh, he's down. No worries, he's down, guys. And we're still alive, thanks to some pally tanking and some rogue tanking. Very good teamwork. Everyone will do their part. Hamhawk 
didn't appear to drop anything. Uh, Basil Thread. Okay, buddy. I'd like for our healer to have a little bit more mana, but that's kind of been the story of the dungeon. We've got some insurgents, some convicts. We're going to clear these other rooms. Somebody get that guy. Yeah, mana, I know. Now we will wait on some mana before we do anything else. I guess this place was much bigger than I ever thought. For some reason, my memories of people talking about stockades back in vanilla was that it wasn't even worth doing, but it's totally worth doing. I, I don't know. Maybe that was just us being on the Horde side. They meant it wasn't worth trying to come over here and do it. But if you're an Alliance character, then... Yeah, you're going to do this. No line of sight, huh? Wrong guy. Somebody will get that convict. Alright, and we'll clear out this other room as well. I just want to make sure that we clear everything out. Just in case there's any fears or any funny business. At this point, it's totally worth it to let either the Paladin or the Rogue tank one. They're fully capable of surviving it. And it's all working out. It's better than me running around like an idiot trying to taunt everything getting hit in the back like I've been doing. But It's all good. It's been a successful run for the most part. Let's see how it concludes here. Um, again, I... I I don't want all three of these mobs. I have a bad feeling that we're going to get all three of them regardless. Okay, I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. I'm going to back way off of that. And he popped anyway, okay. It was a good thought, however it happened. Hunter trap, I guess, right? It was a nice hunter trap, but I think it was a hunter pet that broke the trap. I, I'm not sure.
This guy did not care about my taunt at all. I'm not generating very much rage. Oh, we are stunned. We're being stunned. That makes a lot of sense. About the whole not generating rage thing. Very interesting mechanic. Well, hey, he dropped some emblaze on gloves. That we don't need. But yeah, I think... I think that's it. That's everything. We've got all of our quests complete that we had. There might be more quests to come back in here and kill some of these other name guys, but we don't have them right now. Uh, yeah, that was a good time. It was... it was... parts of it were challenging. We wiped a few times, had some unlucky pulls, had some pulls that I didn't think we'd survive that we were actually able to, and I had a great time. I'm glad we came in here. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I'm always up for any tips, suggestions, looks like we got respawns, anything of the like. So yeah, let me know. And if you did like the video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more WoW videos, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. It helps me out a lot. Until next time, everybody take care and we'll see you soon. Bye now.